What is up, Roses? It's me, Rachel, from Rachel's Crazy World, and we're back with Fr Ask for Skin Company. So here we go. Wow. Someone really needs to clean up in here. Oh, well, hello there. Um, you'd better get out of sounds right now, or, um, Metaton. <laughs> Can't say I expected this, but... You know, it's actually pretty convenient, convenient this way. Convenient? How? You can send a message to the others. Tell them that I only leave signs if Frisk willingly gives me the body. I see you're making demands then. And Sans is your hostage. I don't think that there's go that's going to work. The way you think it, it it will, kid, because... I also want you to tell them exactly what I'm doing to Sans. <coughs> I can't do a choking sound. I forced his soul into the darkest parts of his memories. Essentially, I'm forcing him to relive the worst parts of his memories over and over again and over again. <sighs> Listen, Jara. Can't run. Oh my god, my voice is literally dead. Mm. Listen, Chara can't run our soul. Scream. Tell them to finish us off. You don't get it, do you? They aren't going to hurt you, no matter what it personally costs to them. Pretty sad, especially since you seem to have no problem watching your loved ones die in front of your eyes. Speaking of which... Why don't you get back to doing that for a while? I wonder how long it'll take before your mind breaks. I need a drink. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, dialed up tones. I can't do that. Yeah, <laughs> non -zord. I can't do it. I have returned with terrible news. The fuck? Terrible news? Darlings, it was just awful. How do I even begin? Everything was in complete disarray. The whole place is flooded with that awful child's influence. They're keeping Sands as a sort of hostage, locked away in a prison of his own nightmares. It's awful, dreadful even. Well, what does Chara want? Oh... They want you, Frisk. Wait, what? Well, your body specifically. They say that they'll trade signs for you. I have to ask, Chara, why go through all this trouble to possess Frisk specifically? Wouldn't it be better to possess a powerful monster like Toro or Asgore? Or better yet, make Alphys build a, you a, a mechanical body so you don't have to go through the trouble possessing anyone. Monsters are weak. I don't want a monster's body. It was always my plan to take Friska's body. They're powerful. They defeated Azrael even when he became a god. I will need that kind of power in order to destroy everything. <laughs> While killing is fun for a while, the greatest pleasure is to rule over the cattle and bring disor discord over them. While you play yourself up as a, the messiah, never knowing that is what you along who brought you the suffer the suffering over them, and never gets old to see the fools in conflict with each other hurting themselves over petty ma matters, like a race, religious, political factions, and ideas alike to destroy everything in one's fleeting, but to make them eternally suffer is the greatest reward. Tempting, but I think I'll pass. The word isn't a toy for me to play with. The world is disgusting. The world needs to die. Drinky. Hey, Flowey, why have you just been sitting there and letting Char torment Frisk's friends? Too afraid to hurt your best friend? You idiot. Next time, don't trust people. It's better that way. I thought you knew. In this world, it's kill or be killed. You shut the fuck up. 
buck up. You don't know anything. Chara might be underestimating Sans' ability to withstand revealing bad memories. Flower did not did a lot of things as a flower, but Frisk came along and obscured these abilities to save. It's not the most comfortable situation, but yeah, I've definitely had worse. Should I have known I'd end up like this if I f tried to fight back? What was even the point? Gaster! I know thinking about the mad science stuff probably isn't nice, but I think it's time to think about mad science void monster stuff. Char said you in inserted uh, interfered before. I think it's time you stepped up to bat. I don't think it's just Sans that can dunk someone. No, I dare not. Your powers are destructed by nature. And I'm just as likely to inverly harm Sans as I would be to do anything actually helpful. The times intertwined in the void were merely to distract Chara to give Frisk a chance to break free of their influence. What are you talking about? Frisk has never been possessed by anyone. Oh, yes, of course. That must have missed the smoke. <laughs> I may not know what you're talking about, but... I can tell that you're definitely full of crap. Full of crap is has default state. <laughs> Gaster didn't misspeak. Char possessed me once in the timeline before this one. You remember? Y you mean this time travel involved in this? Oh my god, this is never a good sign. What timeline, Frisk? What are you talking about? Think really hard. You might remember a little bit. In that timeline, you stood up against me, kid, and tr we tried to kill you. Undyne shielded you with her body. What are you talking about? That's not what... Uh, and that's... And that's only the th things I did. That Char and I did. Everyone in the underground that we met we left a trail of dust in our wake from the ruins all the way to new home. Nobody even stood a chance, because whenever we died, we could simply turn back time when the power of our determination. We would travel from place to place, herding down monsters until the entire area was devoid of life. And by journey's end, we had reached level 19. We were unstoppable. But... But then Stan stood in our way. Sans, he knew about our ability each time he killed us. He'd say something like, hmm, that expression, that's the expression of someone who's died, blah 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 times. You can't understand how this feels, knowing that one day, without any warning, it's all going to be reset. All I know is seeing what comes next, I can't afford not to care anymore. N I remember I was so cool. Sans, I didn't know. He knew full well that all we had to do was defeat him once. And then we'd be powerful enough to destroy everything. But he kept fighting. Even though it was completely hopeless fight, he still fought even though we'd kill almost everyone he'd ever knew. He still fought. And then I started to think. I'd been telling myself this is the only way. I have no choice. I just want to see what happens and then go, I'll go back. Yet, here he was, fighting an unwinnable battle with all his strength because it was the right thing to do. I was ashamed of myself, but more than that, I startled, started to root for him. I didn't want Tara to win. But eventually, Char caught him off guard. I couldn't let it in that, like that. Because of Sands, I was able to fight back. I was able to reset back to the day I fell and do things the right way. Sands, can you hear me in there? You haven't kicked Char out of your body yet, so I'm guessing you're starting to lose hope. That's the only rational explanation for why you haven't dunked this loser into another dimension. Sons, he's all grown up and saving 
the timeline. I'm so proud! I know, me too. <laughs> I had to. My voice is going out because I can't do stands for a long time. It hurts my voice and papyrus, oh my god. She killed my voice. Hang on. Idea. 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 Oh god, I didn't pause. Why didn't I think of that before? Anyways. We believe in you, Sans. We all do. And if you don't believe me, just listen past the fourth wall. <laughs> Sans, 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 Don't give up, my precious skeleton baby! I think Tara tormenting Sans is a lot of shaking a wasp nest in a jar. That jar is gonna open and then... Yeah. Sans, stay determined for Frisk! What was the point? What was the point? There's people you need you, Sans. Whether you like it or not, you cannot just roll over and let things happen anymore. People are go will get hurt. People you care about. People you love. I can forgive you for forgetting this because of what Char is putting you through, but everyone loves you. They trust you. They want you and your horrible puns, incidental music, and childish pranks back. Sans, the point was to protect your friends and stay determined, Sans. It's your soul, Sans! Are you really going to let a pipsqueak bat bratty little kid with some severe mental issues push you around? Frisk didn't let them do it. Fight back. Don't give up. Get back in control. The point to fighting back was to help save your friend, Sans. If you hadn't held control for long enough to warn Toriel of Char's attacks, she wouldn't have easily died. And if you hadn't made it so hard for Char to harm others, then they would have killed then they wouldn't have killed others as well. It will it may seem futile to fight back, but it still has been helping hold on. I love this so far. Sans, don't give up. Your friends are always beside you, and I am too. We are. You can overcome this. We believe in you. Your friends are trying to save you right now. So don't give up, even if you've been through worse. Even if you think there's no point in trying anymore. And even if you think it's hopeless, because there will be the, a light in the end of the tunnel. Oh, and also, Char is trying to... Um, barge it, bargain you for Friss. But if you overcome it, then maybe this could be different. Sans, the point was that if you fight back, the world would be much safer. If you fight back, Char would, wouldn't be, wouldn't kill if I can read. Oh, that's a typo. That's why I couldn't read. So many innocent lives would be saved. There is always a point in fighting back, Sans. You just have to find it. Sans, do you know what you're fighting? Fight back? What? What? Do I know why you fight back? Because you have a lot of things you want to protect: your friends, your brother, your new life and home, and your love. Don't give up. If you give up, they might maybe die. You, yeah. You don't want this, do you? Because I don't want know if the human world could eh, can use reset. If they die. They're not coming back. Sans, can you hear me? Listen, you can't give up. Everyone is waiting for you. You have to keep fighting for them and your, for yourself. Stay determined. Sans, just remember, even at the darkest of moments, something good happens. When Tori was hurt, remember she came back stronger than ever. Everything was a bad side. Always was a good part of it. To it. Ugh. Sans, I know you don't... I have to read all these because it's part of the story. Sans, I know you don't think you can, but we know you can do this. You made Char reset, even when it all seemed hopeless. But now, it's all getting better. You have your parents back. And everyone are on the surface, you can do it. One out of two. Sans, those words are hearing are completely bullshit. All of it. In fact, let's go down the seeable list of counters the hell out of it. Maybe you can do anything just yet, but you'll almost certainly get a chance. You've already taken Chara by surprise once. Maybe you can find a way to do it again. What do you... Ugh, what you do matters. You're important, and you are about the furthest person from weak. I've seen, in this world, Papyrus love and is proud of you. They all love you. 
two out of two. Honestly, your chances with Toriel are looking pretty darn good. From where I am, uh, assuming neither of you dies in this fiasco. Don't know much about Gaster's situation, but it looks like he had a lot of pushing him towards that. Maybe you said something that didn't exactly help, but the blame certainly isn't all on you. It's also worth nothing that you managed to bring him back, and the last one you were there for. I doubt you were exactly expecting it to be true. Stop it! Good luck! Stay determined. Also, if you want to send messages or conversations with us. <laughs> oh my god. Sans, please don't dis don't despair. And don't give up. Memories are just shadows of the past. They can only hurt you if you let them. But I think you know that already, don't you? Are you worried about the pe present? Do you think that surviving this will only hurt the others? Listen, Sans, you're wrong. You're a big inspiration to us all. You've dealt with a lot of bullshit, but you've managed to go on. I know it's selfish to say, but if you lost determination, I think we'd lose some too. So don't, please. Sans, you're doing the exact opposite of what you need to be doing right now. Don't give up. Be it you fall, fa uh, fall on your face ten or a ten or a hundred thousand times. You just need to get up and keep trying. Now, what are you going to do? Can't it be here. Sans, if you can hear me, just listen for a moment. None of the bad things happened. No one died. You have your mom and your dad. You've beaten Tara so many times in the other timelines. Have hope. Have determination. If you have lost... If you have those, Char can't beat you. Everyone is worried about you and trying to figure out a way to help. But you need to act. You don't even need to do something epic. Just need to beat Chara. It is not that hard. Undyne has done it. You have done it. Azur and Frisk have too. Sans, please fight back. I believe in you, Sans. Aww. There's a lot of people out there who believe in you, Sans. You just gotta believe in you, you know? I hope that made sense. Yeah, kid. It's starting to. Oh my god! I love this! What time is it? I bet it's long, because that took forever. Yes. This is a longer episode than normal, but I really hope you enjoyed it. I had to get that in there. And I will see you all on the next one. Sweet Nightmares.